What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. I'm here. Undreamt tuna. What an amazing human being. What an amazing tuna you are. I'm going to take this Urza Saga. I think that's probably the best pick here, right? A lot of good stuff. You got Teferi. Uh, Cryptic Command. I like Cryptic Command. Arid Mesa. Windswept Teeth. I think we can build around Urza Saga the most successfully. Ooh, I like a Palace Jailer. Also, remember when we went nuts with this Thopter Foundry yesterday? That was pretty fun. Who Who's enjoying that? Hopefully everyone, you know? Yes, I, I meant tuna being, not human being. That's my bad. Or we can try Psy. Uh, so I'm leaning towards Psy, Thopter Foundry, or Palace Jailer. I do like Thopter Foundry a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you don't get sword, though, it's not very good, you know? Hmm. Palace Jailer, you say. The problem is I don't love being white. I bet Psy comes back, too. Yeah, I'm taking the Foundry. If we can get sword, I think it's really good. If we can't get sword, that's okay. We'll be all right. That's a time spiral. Also, Staff, Mox Opal. This pack is fascinating. I kind of like Mox Opal here over Time Spiral. This is the extra crispy vintage cube. This has uh, this this has a little extra breading on it. <sighs> but Time Spiral third pick is pretty good. Okay, Time Spiral, you pulled my leg. <clears throat> I don't know how, but you did it. You did it. Could be at the deserted beach. We have Thopter Foundry, which we'd like to utilize. <sighs> Mightstone and Weakstone's fine. Sky Sovereign is fine. I think it's probably deserted beach. Fairy Mastermind is okay. We could also be black, black blue and not white, which makes me think Fairy Mastermind might be out of the deserted beach. Oh, Thieving Skydiver. Okay. There's a path, but I don't think we need to be white right now. There's also an upheaval, but that doesn't really fit our... I'm going to take the Skydiver. We're going to be artifact-centric. I hope that Psy comes back, and then I'll feel good about really diving in. Oh, Shurokai? Oh, man, we had this guy yesterday, too. Jeez, this card was bananas. Um, Yeah, I'm just taking this guy. There's nothing else in this pack I would even consider other than like Spell Pierce, but this card was fantastic. <sighs> Brain Freeze, huh? Does that do anything? I don't even know. Samwise the Stout Hearted. Could just be Containment Priest. I don't care about Brain Freeze. I know a lot of people love Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze asks a lot of me in terms of a player. I just don't want to be doing it. Oh, we'll take a Sea Chrome Coast. Sure. Okay. Okay. Take Turnabout and go Storm. I'd rather die. Brain Freeze is high maintenance, man. You're right. What a great, great, great point, buddy. Katie and I are visiting Florida next week. See my parents and some friends. Oh, what up, Alan? I just saw your, your IG comment. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I um, on Instagram I've been posting a cube card a day, uh, so I'm posting like one card from my my vintage cube every day and giving some some commentary on it. So, if you guys want to, you can go check that out and follow along. 
I mean, this is a good series of cards right now. Plus, we have a land and a... Oh, wow. Tefri came back. So did Cryptic Command. Boof. I like Tefri more than... I think Tefri is going to be easier to cast than Cryptic Command. Jeez Louise. I mean, even Winds of Abandon is good here. Yeah, I'm going to take the Tefri here. Oh, boy. Oh, Trigger Mage and Top came back. That's pretty good. I'm going to take Top here because we have something to go get Top with, but we don't have anything. If we take Trinket Mage, we just still have... Oh, Staff of the Storyteller. That's fantastic. Wow. Okay. So everything's everything's coming up Millhouse here. That Worm Coil would have been fine too, I think, but... I don't know. This deck looks pretty sweet. Whenever you make a token, and so far we have Shurokai Genesis Engine and Thopter Foundry. It's pretty good. And Urza Saga. It's pretty good. The side did not come back, but... I don't know. It feels pretty good. Eldrazi Titan. We're on the same wavelength. We yeah, me and Top actually have. We've come to an accord. There's been a there's been a, a peace treaty. And that's where we are, you know. Uh my cuffs are a little my cuffs are wait wait, hold on. My my cuffs are bone dry. My my pants are are also bone dry, but my cuffs are the things that's bone dry. My feet are soaked, however. Just just so you know. Apparently draw sevens. Regular LSV. Hey, listen. Listen. It's one. I took one, okay? First one's free, you know? Literally, because it's a time spiral. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Right? Guys? Do we have a good time? Please? I need validation. Ooh, a Mox Jet. Ooh. And a Talarian Academy. And a Grimothy. And a Tinker. <sighs> God. It's just Talarian Academy, right? It's Is that better than a Mox here? Cut white and blue and go red. That's actually a good strategy. All right, so taking Magna. And we got Pyrokinesis here. That seems good. What could go wrong? I really don't know if it's Mox Jet or Talarian Academy. I think if we had more artifacts, it would be Talarian Academy. I think it kind of has to be Mox Jet here. Even though an off color Mox is never my favorite. I mean, we could also get it with Urza Saga, which is a pretty big game. Off color, yeah, that's smart. All right, we'll take the stupid mocks. We'll take your stupid mocks. There's a Teferi, that's pretty good, and a time warp. Hmm. I also don't don't mind coalition relic. It's got to be Teferi, right? This Teferi is just unbeatable. Yeah, it's got to be Teferi. Ah, oh, yes, a good old goosh. A classic. From the German. Uh, a little goosh. A little goosh never hurt anybody, you know? Do you think Relic will wheel? I mean, maybe, but I don't really... I don't really care about it that much, to be honest. It's kind of slow. Like, the more I think about Relic, I'm like, I don't want to spend three mana to put this into play and then have to tap it. And then, I mean, I might still if, if it comes back, but it just, it just feels a little slow, you know? Caracas. Oh, like a little Karaki. Dark Depths. Tamishi. Whenever one or more non-creature permanents are returned to hand, draw a card. Okay. 
Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Return target artifact or enchantment card of mana value extra less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So I can tap a white and return like a mox jet. Tap two to return a sensei's top. Three to return a staff. And then I also draw a card from the land returning to my hand. I think I gotta go with I think I gotta go with Caracas here, but nonetheless, like this is pretty good, and if it comes back, I'll take it. I would love a currency converter or a retrofitter foundry. I would also love the sword of the meek that we've been looking for. Which might not be even be in this these packs, to be fair. We're taking Hollowed Fountain. I wanna make sure our mana's decent. So right now we got uh, you can go on the sideboard too. That's better. We got Sea Chrome Coast and Hollowed Fountain, which is nice. Yeah, I also love the uh, the retro dark depths. In fact, I mean the the theme of my vintage cube is that if I, if there is a retro printing of a card, that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, it could be Lion Sash. It is another artifact, but we didn't get size, so artifacts mattering really doesn't do anything. I I think Misho's Bobble is fine, but it's not really a card that I care about too much. I think I'd just rather have the Sash, especially if we end up with, like, a Stoneforge. But it also makes... Oh, it doesn't make a token, because it's not living... It's not living weapon, it's just a... It's just a creature. Oh, under, oh Marsh Flats? Mm, Marsh Flats seems good. Um, Odawara is also good. Underground Sea. This is a late Underground Sea. I'm going to take the Marsh Flats because we can get Hollowed Fountain with it, so it is a dual land now. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. I was going to take this Othari and be like, I'll find a way to splash. But instead, I'm just taking Celestial Colonnade. Yep, started with a little Jund action today. God, he doesn't, he doesn't see colors, you know. It's not his fault. He drank a lot of lead paint as a, as a child. Bless his heart, you know. Oh, I love a I love a Chrome Host Seed Shark, especially in a deck like this. Also, Guardian Scale Lord is fantastic as well. I'm gonna take the Seed Shark though. Yeah, this guy's this guy's sweet, man. This card this card has been in my cube for a long time. Like you get to draw two, discard one, and make a one one, and it's an eight eight if you if you have enough to crew it with. Which is literally just three of the one ones. Like, it does a lot. That thing is working overtime. Okay, Tinker came back. Unlicensed Her, Snapcaster, Heart of Kieran, and City Level are all came back. I think we take the Tinker. Because we have a good number of artifacts here. And also, if we get Sword, it can find the Sword. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Oh, wow, Time Warp came back too? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, Tameshi came back. All right, well. I don't understand. I don't know if they can make Neon Genesis Evangelion references in Magic. All right, I'll take a Nugan. Sure. Yeah, this is weird, man. Getting a Tameshi, a Tinker, and a Time and a Time Warp on the wheel is pretty good. We'll take a Seal of Removal. It says Genesis. You know, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Come on, come on, come on. Something good, something good, something Oh, Black Lotus. <laughs> okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. Remember when I was like, come on, be something good in this pack, and then I finally got to the Lotus here? 
It's weird because they don't put them in the front. Like they put, they put them, I think it's sorted by rarity, right? Yeah, if I go to sort by rarity, it stays the same. And so like, if you have a Mox Jet, this is the special rarity, which is above Mythic. So that always comes in the front. But this printing of Lotus is just rare. So as you can see, it's coming after this, this Mythic. So it, it goes like promo, 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 promo version, promo version, mythic, 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 rare, 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 uncommon, uncommon. It's sorted by rarity. So depending on the border and the release, Lotus could be way down here or it could be up here, but it's always going to be down here in this queue because it's anyway, here's, I'll just take the Lotus. I'm going to shut up and take the Lotus. Oh boy. This is a card's hard to pass, man. It's really good. And we got a Lotus. Uh, and we got a Marsh Flat. So if we find like a Sacred Foundry or a Plateau, which we might have passed. I think it's just worth taking, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, I mean, is this better than Charter Course? Yeah. Is it better than any other white or blue card in this pack? Yeah. This does feel like the deck from last night. It sure does. It sure does. It sh like, it's actually insane. We had Thopter Foundry. We had Genesis Engine. We had Fourth Earlingus. It's very similar. But that deck did really well. So, you know. I'm going to take Swords here. Although Polluted Delta is good. Because if we do get, like, a Steam Vents or a Volcanic Island, it does let us search for that red source. I think I got to go with Swords, though. There's a stone forge. Don't care about scrubland. I don't really care about fiery islet. Stone forge gets lion sash right now. We don't actually have to play sovereign either. We could board that in. Um. I don't think it's binding. We have literally two mana types, so it's going to be four mana. Uh, I think I'll just take Fiery Islet. Yeah, I, I would take Stoneforge if I knew we were getting like a Cauldra Complete coming, but right now I'd rather just take the card that guarantees us the ability to cast Fourth Year Lingus. Um, This is interesting. I think we're just taking Esper Sentinel. That card's pretty good. And it's an artifact. We can tinker it. Malcolm is good. Vendillion Click is pretty good. I do like Force of Will here. Force of Will seems pretty sweet, actually. We have a ton of blue cards. I kind of just want to take Force of Will. That's a Fallen Shinobi right there. Oh, Portal to Phyrexia is pretty good when we have Tinker. Are we not going to see the sword? That's really sad. I think we saw the sword yesterday, 8th pick. Um, uh, I mean, it's better than Monster Mentor, I think. It's better than Miscalc. Yeah, that's fine. Andoral. I think we can take the Andoral in case... Stoneforge comes back, and then I feel good. All right, so we did not get... This almost makes it not even worth casting, to be to be honest. It's kind of sad. Echo of Eons. And also these, like, time warp effects would be great if we had a way to prevent our opponent from drawing, but we, we don't. I'll just take Lingering Souls. Maybe a duel comes back to, to activate it. Pentad Prism's actually pretty decent here. It gives us two colors of mana, which can be red for fourth, or we can kick Lingering Souls. And plus, we can just sacrifice it to Tinker later in the game. I also do kind of want Sky Sovereign in here because of... Portal. If only Ugin was an artifact, you know? I don't care about Endural without... Stoneforge. If Stoneforge comes back, though, I'll definitely play it now. Man, no Sword of the Meek, no Currency Converter... No, um, no retrofitter foundry. None of like the good value one drop artifacts that you want to get with Urza Saga. 
Oh, we also have Mox Jet for, for Lingering Souls, which is nice. So it's definitely not impossible to cast. Frantic Search, Badlands, which we can get with Marsh Flats, actually. So that's kind of interesting. It also fixes both red for fourth and black for Lingering Souls. I kind of don't hate that. <laughs> it's an awkward land otherwise. Um, see, now I could be convinced of Leyline with a Badlands. So what's the scoop with this particular queue? I see that it's power. This isn't same. Uh, no, they've made. Oh, I I really I feel like I went over this, and then I gave you a hard time for not watching the the YouTube videos that I made where there were like eighty changes to the cube, and you were like, "Oh, we can't all be bothered to watch all the videos in the Frank Extended Universe or Cinematic Universe or something." It was very funny, and I really liked it. But also, I feel like we've addressed this <laughs> this question before. <laughs> Oh, that's a great Monastery Mentor. Last pick? Sure. Sure. Alright, well, we have 25 cards here. Yes, it's the same one. Right, yeah, this one went up last Wednesday, and it will be up for three weeks, I believe. So, same cube. Same, same. I kind of want to cut Time Spiral. I just don't feel like we have the means to take advantage of it. And I don't, I don't think we're a Merktide Regent deck either. And this is probably our... I'm not going to play this as a land, though, because I want to maximize the amount of lands I can get. Everything else seems great here. We can even play this Monastery Mentor, too. Yeah, this seems good. We also have a bunch of good stuff in the sideboard. Oh, no, the title is just referencing that it's that's the time of the year it is. It's Christmas. It's Christmas! You know, day after Christmas. This is seven creatures, but also Lingering Souls, Genesis Engine, Sky Sovereign, Fourth Year Lingus, Staff of the Storyteller. So it's kind of like 12 creatures. I just got a receipt. I just got a receipt in my email for a bath garden center purchase, <laughs> which means Katie was buying some plants. Cut mentor at Ugin. Oh my God. I don't think I'd cut mentor. This deck is full of spells. So Badlands, Marsh, Seachrome, this guy, this guy, this guy. All these lands are playable. Sort by color. We got double Teferi here. Oh, no. Okay. So let's go with white sources. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, definitely going up to nine. Blue sources. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this is four and four. Yeah, so it's 9-9 nine, nine, and then like minimal black, minimal red. And we can search for both black and red with bat with um, Marsh Flats. We can just happen into a Badlands. We have Pentad Prism, Black Lotus, Mox Jet. So, all right. Also half tempted to play Anduril. Is that better than Temeshi? Turn an artifact or enchantment with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. That seems that seems pretty good. Like, I mean, if we're getting back Shurikai Genesis Engine or Lion Sash or Staff. Man, I do wish I got the, the Sword of the Meek. That would have been nice. I got up at 4 a.m. Eastern Time, then flew to the West Coast. I didn't even know you were in that. Where did you tell us you were in the east the east coast? I don't even know you went to the east coast. Somebody's sneaking off to different coasts.
My sister's place. Okay, I didn't know your sister. Where does your sister live? Somewhere on the East Coast? <laughs> See how smart I am? Uh, just <laughs> yeah, Kuro's uh, going coast to coast, just like Space Ghost. Is anything better than Anduril here? I don't think so. Oh, North Carolina. North Carolina. North Kakalaki, as they call it. The old Kakalak. This is this is funny. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, you know what? In my heart, I'm hoping we'll get a white mana. Because second turn, Monastery Mentor is pretty good. Celestial Colony off the top. All right. Sometimes you just start a game and you're like, time for the second one. I flew by your house. I saw it out the window. You were eating a churro. I don't think that was my house. Although our family is big on Christmas churros. So, okay, they're going to take the Monastery Mentor, I guess. So that's good. All my Monastery Mentor hopes were dashed. Okay. Yep. That's the thing, all right. Okie dokie. This is going well. Who would have thought we would have drawn the one Badlands and no White Sources? It was a greedy keep. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna justify that for sure. Like this is just a. It's just a. It's a real no gamble, no future sort of situation. But sometimes, gamble, no future. So you know. So you're really rolling the dice there. Okay, that's a planeswalker. Yep. Yep. Hey, look at that. Would you look at that? That's pretty good. All right, so we're lingering. What's next? Nothing. We have a bunch of, we have three five drops. If we can hit a land, we're in good shape. I call him Gamblor. <laughs> oh, Lord. Fantastic. Hitting the Teferi is rough, but hitting Portal is totally fine. Not really uh, a concern. I do love their Ketra Triumph Swamp Swamp deck. It's very similar to our Blue White Lands Bad Lands. Oh, really? I mean, I'll just do this. Then we can play Mentor and play Mox Jet. I mean, I assume they did this prompting us to block so that their Kaito goes to two and we can't kill it, but getting Mentor back and being able to promptly play a Mox Jet seems pretty good. That's a Pentad Prism. But sure is, Billy. Uh, I guess we'll hit Kaito. Would have loved to land that turn. We could have went Pentad Prism, made another guy. Lingering Souls, made another guy. I would have been fine throwing our Pentad mana away when we had five. They have five cards in hand. I'm very curious about this mana situation they've got going here. Kurt, I, so here's here's my theory. I think you disguise ideas that are frustrating 
<laughs> deliberately frustrating. And you put they should in the front. But in reality, they shouldn't. It's very clever. I believe they should is your introduction method for these ideas. Fantastic. Nothing like nothing like a, a hymnatoric into a mind twist to get the juices flowing, you know. Genesis engine. Okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. You like that I did not play Lingering Souls first? Ah, I feel so bad now. I just denied myself th three damage, maybe. Oh well, you live and learn, you know? Sometimes you get, you play a little fast. You play fast and loose, you know? Yep, look at all these triggers that I'm just getting here. Sure. I'm gonna get a damnation. <laughs> Whatever you wanna do, pal. They should mind their own business. <laughs> oh. It would be called a rim rom. Is it Mormir? I don't think. I think it's Momir, not Mormir. I think it's M O M I R. So it'd be rim om. Rhyme om. What do you think they got with their Vampiric Tutor? Toxic Deluge? 100% Toxic Deluge, right? We're getting deluged right now. Show and tell. Well, I don't have anything, so you're welcome to, to put your little buddy into the play. Source Plashers. Tefri to tuck. Or to bounce. Fiery Islet. I'll play it. I'll draw a card with it. Old seedy boy. Okay. I ain't got nothing to lose. I got nothing to lose. Really? Yeah, it was like block a prowess guy, man. Flyers are always going to deal one. Prowess guys are forever. All right, we got about one draw before this guy kills us. We have Leyline Binding. I, yeah, I got no cards in hand. We have Leyline Binding, Swords to Plowshares, Small Teferi to Bounce. Also Planes. Yeah, that's pretty good. So they're going to block... Here and here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six. It's pretty good. Not lethal, but pretty good. Let's see if the top card would have saved us. Nope. 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 Great. Great. I feel like I would have had a better chance that game if I was able to um, keep the cards in my hand. I was not, so I, I didn't have a great... Uh, A great game. Is Show and Tell's, uh, is it permanent? I think Show and Tell is permanent, in which case I might just bring an Ugin. It's creature enchantment or land or artifact. So no, no, it is not an Ugin. Okie dokie. Unexpectedly absent seems good too. What are we taking out? Do we see any artifacts for this guy? Not many. I'll take out the Tameshi as well. That guy's kind of cute. Okay, this is good. I'll keep this. Portal of Phyrexia always being in the hand is pretty awkward, but... I asked myself, like, would a six-card hand be worse than this? Or better than this? And I don't think so. Plus, we can put Portal of Phyrexia into play if they, um... If they show and tell, so... I mean, of course, they have him to Torok and Mind Twist, so, you know. Well, 
but we also have to wait for them to join the game. Badlands again, eh? Let's get this guy down. Next turn we can draw a card. Oh, we need a white source, don't we? That's unfortunate. Well, if we hit a white source, we can draw a card and Containment Priest. Cyborg Yui, which one? There's been a couple. This one means that I'm I'm yielding. Like, I will not have... I don't need priority for anything. Yeah, him to Torok me. Valky. Okay. Well, you get a Containment Priest, I guess. Thank you! Oh, what up, Eric? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Five years, three months. A classic. A classic. Okay. Oh, a C Chrome Coast. All right. I like it. Another island. Sounds good. Well, we're not attacking because I'd rather not uh, turn the upkeep, huh? Okie dokie. Well, it's not going to be Show and tell this time, I can tell you that. Can you show us that? I don't I don't like what you're doing anymore. This is interesting. What? Are they just giving me containment priest? Why would you do this? Cause you want to hit it with the hymn to Torok? I'm confused. Grief evoked. What in the earth is going on? Sure, I'll just cast it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh huh. What in the earth just happened? <laughs> I'm very confused. So still haven't seen any artifacts, so... But, I mean, Grief would have still resolved, because Contamin Priest says, if a non tone creature entered the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. It was still cast. Evoke is just an, an alternate cast cost <laughs> so like it's still it's still being cast I mean maybe they didn't know that they would think grief was getting exiled and then like I, don't, I have no idea what what just happened there that was pretty wild mox off the top Okay, very mastermind. So we are going to keep up Force of Will here, which is kind of nice. In case they want to do some nonsense. Mm -hmm. 
So are we assuming they have like... If we force the will of this and then they play him to Torok, they're just gonna take three cards anyway. So whatever, just, you got it. This is really weird. Sure. They're gonna take force here. And they're gonna animate it, maybe? I have no idea. This is... Yep. What? They didn't do anything. They just literally cast it for... What? What in the earth is going on? Staff of a storyteller. And this can get our this can definitely get our badlands now, which is nice. Oh, they just didn't play a land. Man, I was much more oh my God, much more afraid of what I thought was going to happen there, but then it didn't happen, and I have no idea what's going on. We could play Teferi and just plus Teferi. That seems good. We could also bounce Staff. I guess. I don't know. That was that was a match, all right. I mean, they had him to Torok and Mind Twist in their deck and Show and Tell for, like, the, they had a bunch of good <laughs> good cards. I just have no idea, like, what the... I don't know. That scoop in response to Grief? Like, it was just a 2-2? Two -two? I have no idea. That was a whole, that was a whole thing, man. I'll keep this. I would love a Mox. Can we draw a Mox or an, an Esper Sentinel on turn one? Those are the two things I want to hit. Let's hit them. Come on. Hit them both. Sure. That was neither of the things that I asked for. In fact, that was very rude of you to, to just ignore my, my wishes. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Okay. I mean, if we can hit a white source or a cheap artifact, we're going to be tinkering and stinkering. Okay. Well. Oh, look at that. They got their lands. Not not going to play this guy, that's for sure. I'll bounce it. Okie dokie. No? Mana drain. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, great. Really glad you had that strip mine. Just... See, it's funny, because I played planes first because we only had one in hand, and I was afraid of discard. I was like, oh no, what if they make me discard this? However, the exact opposite happened where they were able to strip mine the single planes that we had and then we got stuck with two blue. So, you know. Six of one, half dozen of another, as they say. Great. Great. Great success. It's a one-one, man. Just let, it, just let it be. It's very hard to beat this 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 size of tempo swing, especially when uh, it's a one one on like turn four or something, turn five. <laughs> uh, missed missed the land drop. Got a one one on turn five. Yeah. 
fantastic. Who's having a good time? This is actually kind of obnoxious to just be on the board. I'm not actually sure we can win this game. Oh, it's got to be white, doesn't it? Let's use a... Uh... We're going to hit a land here. Just not the one we wanted. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm definitely more inclined to Portal to Phyrexia here. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. Thank you! Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, bum. Okay, so just going to submit, I guess, because, you know. Oh, what up, Midnight Meat? Thanks for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, love it. Every time. Every time. I think we do keep this because of top two lands, Force of Will. This is so awkward, though. I wish we had a way to shuffle this in. That's okay. Let's just try not to draw Tinker, you know? Oh, fascinating. So we play this now. Next turn, we can make a guy with the planes. Then we can make another guy. So this turn is out. Next turn, tap two. We can yeah. Let's just play this guy, I guess. Oh yeah, search for your search for your island. Oh, I got a tundra. This is my favorite dual land. Okay, a little charter course. You got it. Get a little bit charty, you know. Oh, they discarded an Archangel Avison. Sure, you got it. Ooh, that is a that is a tarifi. Um no lands though, huh? Okay. Well, we're definitely making two guys. Thankfully, we can get a Mox Jet. Hmm, fascinating. Sure. Uh, make another one here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can also get Lotus. That's pretty cool. I don't think that does anything for us right now, though. 
We can't play Teferi. We can play Staff and Top if we sack it for white. I think I'd rather just have the consistent jet. And have two four fours. And we also have Force of Will in hand, which is super nice. I mean, we could have cast Fourth, but they have a flyer, and Fourth would give us, like, we didn't have the mana for it, so. Like, I'd rather not waste a turn. Oh, sure, they get rid of a 4 4. That's unfortunate, but. I don't think we're wasting a Force of Will on that. Although our clock is pretty good. See what you got. Oh, perfect. Um, hmm. Put you there, put you there, put you on top. I don't mind drawing the rest. Hmm. So we could play Staff. We could also play Teferi. I kind of like Staff, and then if they play... Okay, they did not. Interesting. They did not mana drain, so I guess that's not a thing. One of these guys is definitely getting bounced. Oh, it did not get bounced. Well then. Okay. What? Fascinated. Okay. <laughs> Counter the Tinker. We're good to go. That's all you need to do, I guess. Okay. Also, like, Containment Priest seems decent against their Tinker now. They just fail to find. It is bad with ours, but, you know, if we're going to play it, probably not playing Katana Priest. I'm going to bring you in. I'll take out the Tameshi again. This card just feels a little slow. I don't know. Unexpectedly absent, also good against the Tinker. Turn one Usher? That would be interesting. I would be surprised if... Really? Just deals them a million damage. Um, Skydiver seems good against them. Hmm, we gotta take out something. Maybe Sky Sovereign. Hmm. I think that's probably fine. Oh, that seems this seems good. All right. That's what father likes. Oh, they mold to, they mold to five on the play. It's not very good, is it? Come on, Mox. Absent. Sky Sauron in the world of the day after tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Super Fritz, my beautiful friend. Hmm. Okay. We're just going to keep up the old mastermind, you know? 
We have two flash creatures, you know? That's pretty good. Oh, if they want a charter course. Oh, charter course. Might as well play it now, I guess. Sure. Hmm. All right. Do it again. Seems good. Oh, boy. So one to who? Let's get rid of Tefri here. You're gonna do something? You're gonna Cathar Commando. Fantastic. <sighs> okay. That's obnoxious. I don't know why they did it in response. Or why they did this now, because they could easily just do it during their... I guess we could respond. I don't know. Tefri's surprisingly obnoxious, and now they just get to bounce something else. Like, the, the reason I'm, keep, I'm casting things is because if we don't, they're just going to bounce our top, and then we don't get the creature in play. So we might as well use the mana and then keep the top in play. Yeah, Portable Hole is from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, which is the D&D-based set. Sure. Wait, what? Does it just stay exiled? Exiled on the until portable holders. Why did my guy disappear? Containment Priest. Fantastic. Yep, that's pretty good. Man, I thought the I thought the Malta 5 game would have been uh, really good for us. However, Tefri Time Raveler is a hell of a hell of a drug. Get another planes, I think, with what we have now. <laughs> this is just fucking incredible, dude. <laughs> oh, you Leyline Binding? I'll Cathar Commando. Oh, Fairy Mouse Rhino Portable Hall. Oh, Lion Lion Sash? I'll Lauren Val. Oh, Crows? I'll Path Exile. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Um. Fingers crossed that this resolves, I guess. What do we have? We have one, two, three. Three for Tinker. We have one, two left over. So we can top here. Play Tinker, keep two white up for absent. Oh, I guess we're tinkering, right? So that doesn't matter. So if we Sensei's top first, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just gonna have to tinker here, I guess. One, two, three. Well, they have three cards. <laughs> so 
okay, you get to take an extra turn and then just bounce my my portal. Fantastic. It was I was so close to getting an extra an extra creature, one creature out of it. Sure, dude. You got it. This is unbelievable. Like, this is... I've actually never seen anything like this in a game. Yeah, I mean, this worked out quite well, but we have no cards. So. We still have a, a Celestial Colony, I guess. That was, this This is the most insane mull to five I've ever seen in my life. Oh, no, they still got something. Fucking amazing. Uh, I've, I'm so, like, I've never been tempted to say anything in chat before because I just don't do that. But I'm, this is the closest I've ever come to be, like, absolutely incredible. Like, I've never seen anything like this. This is unfucking believable. Like, fantastic. Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess we get to cast this. <laughs> oh, Lord. Just unbelievable, man. I was actually hoping to see this guy. You do that one. Mana drain. <sighs> oh, it resolves. Oh, start with the gifted sub. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, man. I mean, there's no incentive not to do this now, right? Like, we get a second blue card in our hand, possibly. For force. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't want to discard a Teferi, but I will if I absolutely have to. I mean, Genesis Engine might get us there. It's very good. <laughs> no. No, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. 
Well, that's all right then. Oh, does that do anything? One, two, three. I mean, we're just gonna play Teferi here. We can just bounce their portable hole, I guess. To just draw the card, they have no bodies on the board. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, well. This is this has been a game for sure. Oh, they're just cracking and drawing. That's a good sign. They have six cards in hand. What are your cards? Jesus. Oh, we know portable hole. I guess is one of them. What? <laughs> How? How do we win this match? You have so many turns left. Wow. I don't understand anything. That was... That was wild. Yeah, they're just trying to be supportive. <laughs> you know what? I'll just give it to them. I've had a good run. You might say it was the best run. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. The rest of their deck probably was lands, considering they played every possible answer, yes. They're like, well, that's the best I got. Uh, let's play this guy. I wonder if it'd be good to add the cycle of five artifact lands. No, they're not... Are there searchable artifact lands? I thought there was, wasn't there? Okay, that was actually a great draw. Oh, well that's something, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Should we just tinker here? I do kind of want to draw a card first, you know? We're going to mentor and then we'll get the guy off the... We're going to draw a card next turn and then we'll also tinker. We'll see if that works. And then we have fourth year Lingus and Genesis. Are the, like the, are the bridges from... Modern Horizons searchable. I believe they are, right? No, they're just artifact lands. Dang. Okay. Well, you got it. They balefold. Uh, oh, we drew this guy. That's pretty good. Oh, they missed land drop too. All right. Well, you know. We could also get a big boat. Let's get this guy. Next time we get to play Teferi or fourth or Genesis engine and activate. Nah, that's pretty good. I feel like we're very ahead here. Uh, Werewolf dies when we get portal to Phyrexia. So no. Yeah. The, the werewolf has a hard time killing when it goes to the graveyard. That's one of its downsides, is that it can't kill from the graveyard. I think that's also going to be the slogan on my tombstone. It's going to say, Frank Lepore, can't kill from the graveyard. <laughs> and then everyone will be like, was he a serial killer? Wow. What a crazy, what a crazy slogan on his tombstone. Why limit yourself? To it's not, no, no, no. It's not me limiting. 
that's just that's just the universe, you know? Like I can't kill from the graveyard. It's not a choice. I'm just being honest, you know? Not with that attitude. You know, I'm just trying to be realistic here, you know? Oh, this hand is f pretty sweet. Also, this is a great card to, to tinker into as well. Okay. 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 I'm going to assume Skydiver doesn't have a ton of targets. I think turn one staff into turn two mentor keeping up swords is pretty good. Watch, they're going to go Mox. It's going to make me feel so bad. They didn't go Mox. Okay. Well, turn one staff is pretty good. Okay. I would love to save the Mox for the mentor, but who's got that kind of time, you know? Okay. Oh, I like that guy. But with no target, I think I'd rather just play Mentor. Though they might Baleful Mastery it, you know? But next turn, being able to get a, t a trigger off of this guy to actually put a counter on this seems good. Uh, this deck is it built around Staff in the sense that I put Staff in here, and it's a good card. And then I picked a bunch of other good cards that also go in a blue-white deck. So... Yes, but not really, but maybe really, really, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to combat phase my Mox jet. Wow. That's hilarious. Why not do it during my upkeep? Like you did it in a situation where I can actually take advantage of the land. If I, if I, if I play this guy in the main, I guess they could have killed this. I mean, which might be better. Yep, that hurts. Don't like it. Oh boy. Not great, Bob. Yep, you got your little got your little kitty cats. Really? Seriously? <laughs> three drop, three drop, three drop. Oh my god. Come on, dude. That's so frustrating. Yeah, you you got it. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, at this point, I would have rather them killed Monster Mentor for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Man, tapping Alalia just to crew in a Sika's chariot is a is a hell of a move there. I, I do wish that neither of these I, I wish these color requirements were not white. Maybe they'd be too good otherwise? I don't know. Hmm. 
I think we're a little far behind. I don't love it. Unfortunately, Monastery Mentor does not get the job done for us. Like, it just can't even block anything. Like, Tefri can bounce a thing to try to put us a little bit further ahead. And maybe we can just take a big hit from a Monastery Mentor. And we draw Tinker, you know? Tefri gets us closer to Tinker. Tameshi can block two drops. Actually, Tameshi into Tefri seems pretty good. Tameshi, like, whenever one or more non-creature permanents are returned to hand, draw a card. So if I bounce something other than a creature with Tefri, I get to... I don't think I would, though. It's still a 2-3 that can block, though. And we can bounce our own staff. No, we can't. Well, we could with Tefri. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just crew with two cats and attack with 3-3 three, three, Lelia and 4-4. Four, four. I think we just double block the Lelia there. That's true. They might just spontaneously scoop in a few turns. You know, or they could play out on Liberated Kill Lion Sash. And now we take seven. It's pretty good. And they hit a mountain. But they already played a land, so that's good. Uh, three, three, four, four. Nah, no blocks. Come on, Tinker. That was not a tinker. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. Yeah, that's... That, uh... Destroying that mox did a surprising... Surprisingly good job there. Which is interesting, because we actually have 17 lands and a black lotus, and I don't think we've, dra we don't think we've drawn lotus once. Um, so that's a bummer. <laughs> oh yeah that's a good that's a good strat I do like boarding out the mocks good players don't draw bad hands smart what real real clever buddy oh look there it is I spoke too soon I'll keep this we can go get hollowed fountain with this and then we have all our colors this is, I mean, obviously it only casts Sky Sovereign right now, but it lets us cast pretty much any big drop that we can draw. Let's go get a Hollowed. Say no. Ooh, Tameshi. I don't think we're playing Tameshi here. However, being able to return, actually, do we do that and then return Lotus to our hand? To draw a card? Is that how that works? Like, is that is that the, the magic play? So let's say we go Plains, Lotus, Crack Lotus for blue, play Tameshi, this, get Lotus, X is currently zero, done, bounce, Draw a card, get Lotus, crack Lotus for blue, and this, play Teferi, plus Teferi. Yeah, okay. Can this only be used once a turn? No, but it triggers only once a turn, and I don't want to bounce another land. So, I mean, that wasn't a terrible... 
Turn two. We missed a land drop, but we got a Teferi and a Temeshi out instead. So, you know. Baleful Mastery, kill Teferi, let us draw a card. Valky. <laughs> oh, you poor... You poor unfortunate soul. That's Ursula from Little Mermaid. I mean, we're going to bounce this guy and then just place a Skydiver so we have no creatures in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cast him as a man. So next turn we can actually cast this with Lotus, I think. I don't want to bounce too many lands and like, if I don't have something cool to do with it, I'm not going to do it. So, I, like if we get ourselves too far behind and then they have some way to disrupt our, our plan, it's not great. But our board seems pretty good. This feels like a great success. That's fine, I have no artifacts. Now I have an artifact. So, play this, well, obviously plus you. Play this guy. Use a planes. Tap the planes. Get Lotus. Add the one. Done. Bounce the planes. Get the Lotus back. Draw a Pentad Prism. And... Well, Genesis Engine just dies to this guy, doesn't he? But I guess we can get it back, because that's the whole point of the card. And we kind of have to play something here, so... I mean, if they want to spend their turn doing that, that's fine. So this guy attacks for two. That's fine. And we know they have Valky in hand. Sure. And getting Lotus back every turn. It's pretty good. You got it. Tefri will go to one. I feel like they have to kill Genesis Engine here, but what do I know? I mean, then we just get it back eventually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okie dokie. Well, that's still not terrible for us. I mean, we can just go Prism and then land and then keep Tameshi up. I guess it activates as a sorcery. But we can still do that this turn. I mean, it might just be time for the boat, right? So let's see what we got here. Tameshi for three, bounce this, draw a card, play the boat. Yeah, all right, that seems fine. Bibbity bobbity boo. I feel like I'm doing well. Even with two lands on the board, you know? Pest infestation for one. Okay. All right. You got it. That's good. Oh. Fascinating. Well, that could win us the game eventually. They have had a lot of, uh... hmm. We could Tameshi just get the Lotus back and do nothing with it. Then next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I mean, we're very close to just winning with the time warp.
That sure feels correct. Like, I feel like after Outland, Coligans, and Pest Infestation, like, they can't have that much left. Famous last words, perhaps? I don't know. We'll see. But even if they kill the Lotus somehow, like, we still have access to five mana, so it's not really that big of a deal. Mm, top. I'm not going to waste, I'm not going to waste mana for top here. But... I mean, fingers crossed they just don't have something that disrupts our tiny creature army, I guess. I mean, they have dealt with our vehicles quite well. It is I, the guys meet again for the first time. How is Christmas? Also, why is there no superior red spells in your deck? Always disappointing me. <laughs> What's up, Jano? Good seeing you, buddy. We have two red lands because we have fourth Eerlingus in our deck, which is basically a red, a red burn spell, right? No hits again. But now they know the time warp. Pop these graveyards out. Dismember on our little floaty boy. And they went to three to do this. Boy, that is something, isn't it? Ho ho. Oh, that's a thing. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we just go Lingering Souls Time Walk, right? Hmm. That sure seems good, but we can't do everything, right? One, two. We can go Lingering Souls. We can go Lingering Souls Sky Sovereign. That's interesting. We have eight mana here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we could actually crack Lotus, get Lotus back, right? Is that enough? How much does that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use one to go to seven. Get back the Lotus. So we have 10. I think that does it. So what we're going to do... Crack this for white. Use Tameshi to buy it back. Get one. Uh, cancel, actually. Tap the island. We'll return the island. We'll get Lotus back. Use the one. Done. Return the island. Yeah, this has got to be the end, right? This is, a, this is a sick combination. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um... Lingering Souls, and then we go Black, Black, and then we go one, two, yeah. So we're going to go Souls, Black, White, Souls. Oh, we just win. <laughs> what, a, what a deck, man. What a sweet deck that was. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the buttons, the like button, the subscribe button, the donate, whatever button you want to press. Press all the buttons, and I'll see you next time, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.